So you want to become powerful in Steel Rising and you want to make sure you become OP early and make broken builds. Well, today I'm going to explain, guys, what attributes you should be spending your points in early and as you progress through the game to make sure that you're not constantly dying, but you're constantly killing. So if this sounds like something you're definitely interested in, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's dive in and talk about the attributes. So if we go to our character here in our statistics, I am almost fully maxed out, guys. I'm almost level 120, which I think is the max. But today we're going to be talking about how attributes work here in this game and what attributes you need to be spending points on as you progress your character and as you level up. Of course, the higher you get, the more, you know, kind of broken it's going to become for everything. But as you're leveling up, it's going to become a very difficult to kill certain enemies because you're not spending the points into the right attributes. And this makes it, this works a little bit different in this particular game because it doesn't work theoretically the way other RPGs or early Souls games worked. This one has to do a lot with weapons. So how do you know what attributes you should be spending points on? Well, we're going to be talking about weapons and play styles. So if we go to our equipment here, you're going to notice that if we go to our weapons, our weapons are going to kind of determine what attribute points we need to be spending on. This doesn't really matter what class you decide to pick. It mostly decides on the weapon you plan on using. Now, playstyles do play an important role because if you're already set to be like a mage or to be a tank, then I could tell you guys where to spend the points, which I'll tell you guys later. But the main bread and butter, it comes down to the weapon you want to wield. Now, how does this exactly work? Well, let's not take a look at these weapons, but let's take a look at these right here which are the weapons that are going to pretty much you're going to be getting very, very soon once you guys progress to the game. So let's take a look at this one and I'm going to break this down. And once I break this down, you're going to understand this for every single weapon. So there's a couple like four things you need to look out for here. Number one, you want to look at the physical scaling, which you'll be able to notice right here. It says physical 64. All the weapons scale off physical damage and knowing what attributes enhance that physical damage is going to be key. But the main important thing, guys, is that not just because you level up high physical damage, so let's say you get this weapon to 100, it doesn't mean that that is the only way to get the most damage for this weapon. Because what's more important than this physical damage number is this right here, which is the affinity. If you're able to find out which affinity this weapon scales off, for example, this one has the highest affinity is coming from power. So if my power affinity scaled up, the higher that power affinity scaled up, the more damage this weapon's going to do, even though my physical damage could be low, which I'll give you an example, as long as I have the right affinity, it's going to be doing way more damage. Okay, so it scales off affinity. So we know that if we dump points into power, it's going to increase this weapon. So if I decide to pick this weapon, I'm going to want to dump all my points into power because I want to make this weapon as powerful as it possibly be. The third thing you want to know, guys, is of course the special move and the top one, which it comes of the move cost. Okay, so it's very important that you understand that because the special move is going to tell you guys exactly what this weapon benefits on. For example, this is special move scales off a specific uh, attribute, which we'll talk a little bit earlier. The other important thing, guys, is knowing which is the highest one from this particular option, because as you know right here, guys, impact plays a huge role here. So you're going to want to make sure you prioritize impact as well because impact will let you stagger the enemies. So now that you understand that, guys, I, before we move into the attributes, let me actually show you this one here, guys, which is the glass core platoons. As you notice, the physical damage is 68. So that means whenever I hit someone, it should do 68 damage. But these actually do 240 for me. And that is because I have the highest scaling from alchemy affinity, which boosts these even tremendously, as you guys are going to notice right here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our attributes. So each of these skills, guys, have different benefits. And these benefits work a little bit different than your theoretical RPG or Souls-like game. So what we're going to be talking about, guys, is depending on your playstyle and depending on the weapon, where you should be dumping points to. Okay, so the main thing you guys want to know is power. We're going to be talking about power. So for power, guys, this is going to boost your physical damage and your impact damage. Okay, so as you guys see here, impact, that represents how fast you're able to knock the enemy down or how fast you're able to stagger them. So power is going to play off your physical damage and your impact. So if you dump points into here, depending on the weapon, if we switch weapons right here, you're going to notice that the impact goes down, physical damage goes down. But if we go to this one, you're going to notice physical damage goes up and impact goes up as well. So power is going to play a huge role when it comes to physical damage and impact. All right, so the next one, guys, is durability. Now, I didn't dump a lot of points in durability. This is going to be primarily focusing on your health and your balance. 
So you notice right here, if I go right here, it's going to focus on health. So that determines how much health you have. Theoretically, in this game, you could get away with just dumping three to four or five points in here. Um, you know, I would start off with this, this being my least important one, because as long as you're dodging in this game, you should theoretically not be getting hit. And health doesn't really pay too much of an important role in this particular game. But you could also dump some points here. So this is going to primarily going to focus on health. And it's also going to be focusing, guys, on balance. Now, balance means how often you get knocked down. So you notice as you're playing the game, if you get hit by the enemy, you're going to get knocked down. This determines how often you get knocked down. Of course, the more balance you have, the more likelihood you have of not being knocked down. So that is when you dump points into your ability. I would kind of not prioritize this. I would leave this almost towards last uh, because health is not really that important in this game, at least the way I play. All right, so next, guys, we have the agility one. Now, agility is very important because this actually helps out a lot when it comes to physical damage. So it does help a little bit with physical damage. It also helps a lot with the special move damage. So if you're going to be using a weapon special move damage, for example, the Falcon run here, Saber, you're going to see that it's going to 242. And this is not fully maxed out. It's only at 15 agility. But that means I'm going to be able to do a lot of damage with that special move as well. And it also helps with immobilization. Now, immobilization is key because this is going to allow you guys to get critical hits. And it's extremely important, guys, that if you're going to go with a critical hit build, that you focus on agility because the more immobilization you have, the faster you're going to be able to build that health bar for the enemy to be able to get that critical hit. So it's going to be extremely important that you pay close attention to that. All right, so the next one, guys, is we have Elemental Alchemy. Now, this is personally my personal favorite because I use an alchemy build. What this is going to allow you to do, guys, it's going to allow you guys to boost all the damage of elemental damage. So we have flame damage, frost damage, and fulmination damage. Well, I don't know why they should just call it electricity damage. And this is extremely important, guys because that's going to give you guys a lot of really good benefits, especially if you're running an elemental build, frost, flame, or, flame, or electricity, or fulmination. And not only does it give you a boost and a buff to the weapon when you apply that damage, but it also gives you resistance to that particular element. So it gives you resistance to flame, frost, and electricity, making it really good for those late endgame boss fights. So definitely a really good one to do. And if you guys are running like a, a you know frost build or something like that, this is definitely the one you want to be dumping the most points in because even though the weapon might be trash, so even though we go to this weapon right here, so let's say we pick up the platoons, even though these platoons might be bad, once we go ahead and we apply the statistics here, actually, let me go ahead and equip it. Once we go ahead and apply that, you're going to notice that now this actually gets really, really good because the frost damage gets up to 41. So that means it's going to be doing that 41 damage, uh, glass damage with the platoons here because we have these are frost elements. Now, I switch over to a flame one. It's going to increase that as well. And you're going to notice that my physical damage not only went up, but it also went up with 143. So even though these platoons kind of in my equipment load say it does 68 damage, statistically it's going to be doing 143 damage every time I get a hit in, which is going to boost my physical damage it's just because I dumped a point in here. Okay, so it's going to be extremely important that you understand that. The next one, guys, is we have Engineer. Now, Engineer is basically the one I think a lot of people are going to overlook. And a lot of people should actually consider this to be one of the most important things on here. Because this is going to give you the loot multiplier, which means you're going to be getting more stuff, more items. But if you're running certain builds that you're going to be doing special moves with your kind of your weapon, you're going to want to get that loot multiplier because you're going to want to make sure you have enough capsules to be able to do that constantly. Now, in addition to that, this also boosts your armor, which is extremely important. Armor is not super important in this game, just like health, but it still helps out, especially when you're fighting hard and bosses. And of course, this is also going to boost this one, the Affliction Multiplier, which is extremely important, guys. The Affliction Multiplier is extremely important because that means how much Affliction you're going to be applying to the enemy, which will help you out as well. Next up, guys, and last, we have Vigor. Now, Vigor is going to be very important because this is going to allow you guys to use a lot of endurance. So it's going to allow you to dodge and do a lot of kind of aerial jump in the air and do a lot of stuff movement that when you're using heavy weapons and when you're using you know a lot of movement in the game, you're going to be running a lot of from a lot from it. So Vigor is going to increase that endurance multiplier that you have. Even though it's not extremely important, it's always good to have enough Vigor. Now, I dumped 20 points in here just because I had enough points. But as you're moving here, I wouldn't prioritize this too much. The only time I would suggest that you prioritize this if you guys are going for a crit build because Vigor is tied theoretically with crit builds, with crit hits. Now, it's extremely important 
that if you're going with a crit build that you will prioritize agility and vigor at the same time the reason being is because in this game you don't get crit hits unless you actually immobilize the enemy and in order for you guys to immobilize the enemy faster you're going to need agility points and in order to multiply the crit points you're going to need vigor so the way this works guys there's theoretically two three ways to play in this game number one is if you're going for a crit build prioritize agility prioritize vigor if you're going for a tank build prioritize power prioritize durability and if you're going for a full-on elemental build prioritize elemental alchemy and engineer and that is the best way to build characters now if you only had 20 points where would you dump the most points in that's going to be dependent on which style you want to play i gave you three styles but one thing i would always suggest out of all the styles you play make sure you dump five points in here as early as you possibly can because that loop multiplier guys it's extremely important plus that extra armor kind of compensates for you having a low durability here so do keep that in mind and there you guys have it guys that is a complete breakdown of the attributes and how to become super op in the game now that you know how to do it it's time for you guys to find out how to level up fast in the game i linked the video right here on the description and also another thing is how to get the best really fast and early weapons in the game that will make you extremely op so make sure you guys check out those videos that are popping up right now on the screen if you're enjoying our content here of steel rising let me know by dropping a like guys the more likes the more we know you guys are enjoying the content do consider subscribing to the channel because it does help us out a lot in addition to that guys if you want to show a little bit more love and support do hit that join button or that thank you button because that does show us more love and it helps us make better content and better videos for you guys thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video